Let's talk about voltage and frequency in volt hertz here. Now your arm is voltage will always be 0.707 times the peak voltage regardless of frequency. But as the frequency changes, the total voltage per cycle will change. So the voltage per cycle increases as the frequency decreases. And the voltage per hertz is greater for 50 hertz than it is for 60 hertz. So let's take a look over at this uh, sine wave here. We've got uh, 460 volts RMS, uh, standard North American voltage, and we have our two sine waves here. Now, the period for the 60 hertz is 16.6 .6 milliseconds, as 60 goes into one second. And the period for our uh, 50 hertz is 20 milliseconds, 50 goes into one, okay? So if we calculate the volt hertz for each of these, we take our 60 goes into 460, we get 7.6 volt hertz. And if we take our 50 and we divide that into our 460, we're going to get 9.2 volt hertz. So your, your voltage is going to be greater for this time period. Now, let's take uh, a look over here. We've got a 460 volt uh, standard North American voltage, and then we have a 380 volt uh, European voltage here. Now, we have their two sine waves here, and if we calculate the volt hertz, of course, for 60 goes into 460, we're going to get uh, 7.6 volt hertz. But if we take our 50 and put that into our 400, uh, 380 volts, we're going to get uh, 7.6 volts, okay? It's going to be the same, okay? And that's why we can take a, a 380 volt 50 hertz motor, and we can run it at 460 volts 60 hertz, Okay, now it's not really recommended to run a 60 hertz at, at 50 hertz because a uh, 60 hertz motor has uh, less iron in the stator and the core. It, the higher the frequency you can use, you can use less iron. So aircraft use 400 hertz and that to, just to reduce the mass. But now we, we take and run a 460 volt motor, you know, at lower frequencies all the time. We use a VFD to reduce the frequency. And when we do that, it reduces the voltage proportionally. So at 50 hertz, it's going to give us four, uh, 380 volts out of the uh, out of the VFT. But it's not recommended to run standard 60 hertz motor that way because they can get hot. And so what you want to do is you want to have a uh, inverter uh, vector duty motor. Okay, so they have more iron in them and the uh, the insulation is better in them. So you know. You could take one of these motors and run it at, at 380, but a standard motor isn't uh, isn't really built to run at uh, 380 volts, 50 hertz. So now, if you take a coil at 60 hertz, it'll draw 1.2 times more amps if you operate it at uh, uh, 50 hertz. Okay. Now, heating elements they're rated at 50 hertz and 60 hertz, but that's just uh, for voltage ratings. The RMS value is going to be the same, so the heating value is going to be the same. But a 50 hertz a uh, heater is going to come out at 230 volts, and a 60 hertz one is going to come out at 240 volts. You know, if, if kind of a typical uh, voltage for an element there. Anyway, that's uh, volt hertz, and uh, thank you.